Hey, I'm Harold Sports Writer Manny Navarro here at Booker T. Washington High School with our recruiting writer here, Safed Dean, our high school sports editor, Andre C. Fernandez. We're talking National Signing Day on a Monday afternoon. Uh, let's start off with the Booker T. Washington Tornadoes. Uh, they got two kids heading into the, to uh, UM, Demetrius Jackson and Chad Thomas, two big-time kids. Uh, but Treon Harris, he's the unresolved story. Even though he's committed to Florida State, Safed, I'm going to start with you. What are your thoughts? Where are you picking uh, Treon to go? Picking Treon to go to Florida. I'm not really sure how that's going to go. I mean, he can really fit in Auburn's offense. That just went to the national championship game as well. He's been a long-time Florida State commit, and uh, Jimbo Fisher's really made an impact on him as well. But uh, Miami did could make an impact, and he did have his last official visit there too. So we'll see. It could be Florida. It could be Miami. It could be any of the floor. He's been really quiet about it, and uh, it's going to be a lot of intrigue come signing day on Wednesday. Dre, uh, not, uh, 14 seniors right now scheduled to sign here at Booker T. Washington, among the most, if not the most, National championship season, what a great way to cap it, right? Yeah, another tremendous class for this school. You've seen it the last few years, the talent that's come through here. And to see these guys have the opportunities, I mean, not just the places that they've committed, but some of those schools that have been trying to recruit these guys. I know like Chad Thomas, you know, the guys you mentioned, they've, they, Demetrius Jackson even had a visit to Texas recently. Just the schools that have realized what a stellar program it is down here at Booker T. And it really is just the start because you look at next season, it, the class that's coming back is going to be just as good, if not better. They're going to go on the road again. I mean, it could be another chance at another national championship. So many talented ki kids here at Booger T. Washington. All right, the big decision, uh, at least locally, I think, is going to be involving Trevante Valentine over at Dre's alma mater, Champagnat. He's going to be announcing at 10.30 a.m. Booger T., by the way, 9 a.m. Uh, for signing day if you're following us on Twitter for updates. Uh, so 10.30 a.m., Champagnat. Where do you think Trevante Valentine goes? He's flirted with the Hurricanes and LSU. It's pretty much those two schools. What are your thoughts? I think he's LSU bound. Uh, he's really uh, liked LSU, especially with that visit and conversation I had with him. He said he's loved how the coaching staff had conversations with his, his mother. Um, he says uh, LSU fits that country attitude that, that he, he possesses, you know. Um, he's kind of wanted to decommit for UM for a while, and, and sort of those outgoing rumors gave him a reason to. And so it looks like he's not looking back. I think he's LSU bound. Mike Tunsil's team wins the state championship. They've got several kids they're going to sign there. Seems like just the beginning, really, for Champagnat. Uh, state championship, five, six kids signing. Pretty, pretty impressive uh, year for them. It really is because, I mean, you look at some of the guys that are coming back, just like Booker T next year, Kedrick Labati, players like that. I mean, it's going to be another strong class next season. And, you know, now they have that experience of what they did this year to bolster this team going into the future. Maybe you're going to see them maybe put a few more high-profile games on the schedule next year to try and build up that resume. But it should be interesting to see. I, I agree with, with Safet. I think Valentine, he wouldn't have decommitted from UM without really thinking it through. And I think maybe he is LSU bound. All right, let's talk a little bit about Homestead and Ermin Lane. Uh, he's been committed to Florida for a long time, but obviously it looks like now he's going to be going uh, to Florida State after his visit up there. He'll be announcing at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Any surprises, uh, or is it Florida State for sure? Uh, no surprises. I think it's Florida <laughs> State. Uh, Ermin's been training Florida State for a while, too, and as long as uh, Dalvin Cook committed to Florida State, it like the two were destined to play college together. So. All right, let's go ahead and move on here to uh, university school. Uh, they've got uh, ceremony at 9 a.m. Uh, as many as 12 kids are going to be signing. Quincy Wilson, uh, Florida Gators, uh, but he's the big-time kid for them. And then, of course, some recent news. Richard Juergen decommits, uh, ends up committing to Clemson. Talk, talk a little bit about Richard Juergen, uh, Dre, and, and uh, this university school. Oh, just an absolute beast of a player. I mean, I saw him all season, I mean, dominant back there. I mean, great, you know, overall defender. I mean, one of the best I saw overall. I mean, even from not just his senior year, but from before, there were a lot of highly rated guys around this recruiting class in South Florida. But Yergin slowly but surely worked his way up and made himself elite. And really, people knew from, those coaches knew from the beginning, this was a special kid, and Clemson's going to get a good one. Of course, we know uh, Coach Harriet now at FAU. Uh, they got a new coach the other day, Brandon Harris. Not not the Brandon Harris we know here not from Booker T, Booker. but one that was coaching uh, up in Buffalo from the Buffalo area originally. I think he's at Arizona, coaching at a high school out there. So new coach, we welcome you, Brandon Harris, to the South Florida area. Let's talk a little bit about American Heritage. Big decision there for Isaiah McKenzie. He's kind of the one guy left on the board. We know Sony Michelle is going to Georgia. Where do you think Isaiah McKenzie ends up? Isaiah McKenzie is really a toss-up, but I think Virginia Tech is really trending upwards. He said it's a dream school after watching Michael Vick and Marcus Vick play, um, and he did take a visit, his last official visit there this past weekend. Ole Miss seems to be a, a big high factor as well, along with Florida, but I think Virginia Tech might be the way uh, for, for Isaiah McKenzie. Their ceremony, of course, at 8 a.m. in the main auditorium. We'll have a reporter there as well. St. Thomas Aquinas every year turns out so many kids, Andre. Two of them are headed to Miami. Anthony Moten, Nick Linder. Linder, of course, the All-American center, brother of Brandon 
uh, Linder, who was started more than 40 games at UM. Uh, another big day, obviously, Madre London, Michigan State. Uh, Rocco Casulo's team didn't win a state championship, but another stellar uh, year sending kids to college. Yeah, you, like you mentioned, guys like London, Corey Holmes, a talented wide receiver as well. I mean, just it shows you every year, not just the talent, but the combination there of talent and uh, education that Aquinas provides. I mean, these guys are going to top-notch D1 schools that aren't just good football schools, but they're overall good academic programs. And again, another stellar class for St. Thomas. Though, and I think they'll be in pretty good shape next season so from the looks of it, from what we've heard recently. Yeah, a lot of transfers uh, from the U school ended up over there. Jordan Scarlett, big time kid. He's committed to FAU right now, but I think things might change. We'll see how we'll see how that plays out. Uh, South Dade, this is uh, you know state champions first time. 9 a.m. ceremony tomorrow for C.J. Wharton. He's kind of deciding between the Gators and uh, West Virginia. U.M. was trying to pull him in late. Where do you think Wharton ends up? I think Wharton ends up in Florida. I think he's really uh, bought into what Kurt Roper wants to do in that offense. Uh, West Virginia, he did have a great visit there. He did have a great visit at Florida as well. And things did start to look open for the both of them once he decommitted from Florida State. But I do think he will end up in Florida. All right. Uh, Plantation, uh, there are two kids kind of undecided they're going to be announcing tomorrow uh or actually i don't know if it's tomorrow but wednesday uh 1 p.m ceremony ravion pierce big tight end chris lamons talk about those two guys i know you, you know them pretty well Safford. yeah ravion pierce was committed to arkansas and he uh, really bonded well with charlie partridge who's now at fau uh don't be surprised if he picks fau on wednesday and chris lamons was once committed to florida he's really close friends with quincy wilson and armand lane but armand decommitted and quincy uh chris lamons did as well excuse me um chris lamons looks like he's going to go to south carolina wisconsin it might be in the mix as well. All right, and of course, we can't forget about the Bulls. They just hired a new coach, Andre. Uh, Eddie Rabbit Brown. We, both of us got a chance to talk with Eddie. Um, talk about that first. I know they've got some kids obviously signing, but the new coach at Northwestern. Yeah, I mean, he sounds like he's got a plan in place already. He's going to meet the team this week um, just to kind of reinvigorate that program. I mean, it's been a couple of years where you know they've fallen behind their rivals. You know, teams like Booker T and Central have really gone way ahead of them. And I think he just wants to inspire, like, re recapture what this team used to have. You know, have those top talented kids from the middle schools come back to the program and they do well and keep the academic standard, which is one thing that I know Coach Stephen Field did a good job of while he was there. He's going to maintain that, keep it going forward. And, you know, the Bulls have talent. They always have. I think it's just a matter of being able to, you know, kind of bring that together. His biggest message was he wants to get the kids all on the same page. Maybe there's been some, you know, losing can develop a little bit of, like, dissension, controversy. He wants to get rid of all of that, get this team back united and going forward and try to reach what Central has accomplished in the last few years. Of course, we'll have all of your National Signing Day coverage on MiamiHerald.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter for updates. Uh, parting thoughts on Signing Day from both of you guys? It's going to be a really exciting day. A lot of kids are going to pick uh, where they're going to go to, obviously. But I think uh, we're, we're in for some surprises, especially with Isaiah McKenzie and Tryon Harris. Yeah, I mean, McKenzie, to me, was one of the most electrifying players I've ever covered, not just this year, but any year. And it'll be good, interesting to see where he ends up going. All right. For Andre Safford, I'm Manny Navarro. We'll talk to you later.